I'm going to walk you through the steps of modifying a code and collecting data to complete the collecting data on modified pandemic model assignment. Anytime we work with the NetLogo models, you will be given options to modify the code. So you open up that document and in this document you have several options of how you want to modify the code. But let's first open up the NetLogo model that you will be changing. This model you've used before. You ran an experiment to see the effect of changing population on the time it takes for an entire population to become sick. Now you're going to change the model so that you can run a different kind of experiment. you have the option to change the code to either um, investigate the transmission rate on total time to infection, to investigate the recovery rate on total time to infection, or to investigate the behavior of adding masks to the total time to infection. Each of the modifications have a description of how you can modify it, and then they have very explicit instructions on how to change the code. Today, I will just cover the transmission rate option. Whenever you want to change the code, you have to look at the original code in the model and find where that is, and then you make the changes according to the instructions. In the original code, if a blue turtle encounters a red turtle, the blue turtle will be turned to red. And now we are going to add a transmission rate component that if a blue turtle encounters a red turtle and the transmission rate is a certain amount, then the color will be set to red. So you can have a transmission rate of 5% where only 5% of the time the turtles are going to turn red or get sick or you can have up to 100%, which would be like the original code, where every time a blue turtle encounters a red turtle, it turns red. So the first thing that you want to do is find the code. All right, if you recall, you need to um, click on the lock so that you are now the author of the code. Then you go into the code, and you search for where it asks the turtles to wiggle. All right, and if we scroll down, we'll find it on line 24. And according to these instructions, we need to add our code right after the zero. All right, so you just need to copy the highlighted portion, just that yellow portion, come back into the code, and add it right after the zero. And you can see that I've added, uh, I've added that code. All right. The next thing we need to do is add a slider in here so that you can change the transition rate to run experiments. So we have to put into the code where the computer is going to get the transmission rate from where in the code. So copy transmission rate, and then you go up into this code. I'm going to give myself some room here. And you want to right click on this light green area in between the population slider and the graph. Right click and you're going to insert, create a slider. Paste in transmission rate. Make sure that there are no spaces before the T or after the E. Okay, and we'll have a 0 to 100. We can start low. All right, this is going to insert our slider. And now the code knows where to get the number from for transmission rate from the slider. Okay, and the code has been recompiled. It's all good. And now you're going to click on the lock so that you can become the scientist exploring the transmission rate. I'm going to create a separate video for the actual running of the experiment. This is just how to modify the code.